please make sure you are thorough with this understanding what is oltp and what is olap the data is coming from multiple sources so here that is so if you take an example so here you have the ui user interface perform fundamental operation for business what is fundamental option all these details are in very detailed format you don't store all the data that is required hello techies welcome back to the channel i am krishna i am a big data tester and etl data warehouse tester so i upload videos every thursday at 7 pm so i upload technical related contents every thursday so stay tuned so today's topic is oltp versus olap or you can say database versus data warehouse so let's get started this is a new topic which is totally different from all other topics mostly i used to take questions road maps and those kind of questions so today i am going to take a technical question which is oltp versus olap so let's go to the screen and i will explain you in detail what is oltp and what is olap and then you will have the clear understanding of what is oltp and what is olap and then i'll go ahead and explain you in detail with the diagrams how you can relate to in a real time environment what is oltp and what is olap and how it works so oltp versus olap let's start with oltp first oltp stands for online transaction processing system so it is kind of a database so online transaction so because there is a transaction which is very fast so as we go for forward in these points i will explain what do you mean by it terminology so because this is oltp is online transaction processing system so when you go Uh, when you uh, basically do any shopping or when you go to a bill counter there they are doing fast transactions right so uh, that the uh, the user interface and the database there is a very fast transaction that is happening so the database the database is getting updated very fast so that's why it's called only transaction system and why are we using this database just to store data there is no other purpose just to store data and in future if required just to refer those data so that's why it's called online transaction processing system so mostly database is called as transaction processing system and the purpose of it is designed to just to store the records just to store the records or basically you can say just to store the data usage perform fundamental operation for business what is fundamental operation the basic operations so basically if you take a, a shopping website where you store all the data all the items that you want to buy you store them in the cart okay and after doing the transaction the transaction is stored that you have ordered these things so the, that is the fundamental operation for the business and here the tables and the joins so obviously this works on uh, entity relationship database so basically there is a entity and there is relationship right so this these tables and joins are complex because they are in normalized format so uh, what do you understand by normalized please comment uh, and if you uh, want a, a video with regards to what is normalized and what is denormalized uh, please comment i will make a separate video for that these are complex because they are in normalized format orientation this is only for collection of data so oltp is only collection of data there is no other purpose storage here the storage is limited it you can just relate saying that uh, suppose there is a dmart so dmart uh, there is uh, only one dmart so for one dmart there is uh, one transaction that is happening and we are storing the data from that particular transaction so for for dmart one center we have one uh, database so basically you can uh, relate to that there is only one application that the data is coming availability so it is a real da- real time data so when you try to fetch data from the database it is a real time data data that's not a historical data or maybe you can say uh, the data is stored only for 6 months or maybe 1 year max to max so the data that you see are real time data so usage here it works on as i mentioned earlier also it is works on er model er stands for entity relationship modeling technique okay with this technique the whole database is designed and this is how the oltp system works technique uh, so basically here this is only for capturing the data so there is no other purpose of uh, having a oltp system just to capture the data just to store the data okay just to have a backup of the data so the storage of the data is in flat relationship so there is not a very complex or uh, it is basically a uh, the relationship is very simple olap uh, olap so there you will understand what is actually uh, complex 
the relationship is complex compared to uh, what is OLTP. So query type is it is very simple, simple transaction queries. You have to write just very simple queries. You have to write to fetch the data from a database or OLTP system. So here all the data are in detail format. Uh, order an item on Amazon maybe. So you order an item. So you have the order ID. You have the details of what did you order, the address, then the phone number. All these details are in very detail format. All these details, all these uh, basically records are in detail format. We will see further uh, what happens in OLAP. So moving on to OLAP, what is OLAP? So let's understand that then we will uh, find some differences of OLTP and OLAP. Whereas uh, a very vast difference can <laughs> make into one more video. So let's see what is OLAP. OLAP stands for Online Analysis Processing System and also called as Data Warehouse. So we will learn a lot of things. Now the purpose of this data warehouse or OLAP system is to design is designed to analyze your business. Earlier it was just to store the data like fundamental purpose. But here it is to analyze to analyze the whole of data how your business is performing that you have to analyze. So usage as we saw it is to analyze your business and to grow your business using this data you can analyze your business and how it is growing then you can proceed further if you have not seen my video of uh, data warehouse of architecture please watch that video i'll just put it in the i button so watch that video that will will help you how data warehouse retail testing is helping the business to expand here the tables and joints are very simple because they are in denormalized format so uh, again i will mention uh, please comment what do you understand by denormalized those who are from database background they should know and please uh, uh, mention in the comment i will be very happy to read your comments so here the orientation is subject oriented see uh, earlier it was just you know you were storing all the data that is coming from the business you're storing all the data but here it is subject oriented very specific uh, you have the subject you have a specific requirement for it and you store the data only for that requirement you don't store all the data here uh, <laughs> i have written unlimited obviously it's not unlimited but the data capacity is higher than compared to our databases because we store data for six months or one year in a database or in a OLTP system but in OLAP system we store data for 20 years 30 years 40 years or maybe even more if a business uh, a bank is working from 100 years so they would like to analyze their data and how we are performing how we are growing so obviously not 100 years but close to 20 30 years of data is what I have worked on one of the video that I have uploaded it is there in the i button so if you see the architecture video the source of a data warehouse is multiple uh, heterogeneous sources the data is coming from multiple sources so here that is when you see multiple application here the data is coming from multiple application i have a business say for example insurance business so it's not that i am the only one so i will have uh, small retail shops i will have multiple third party uh, users multiple third party applications from where i might be getting insurance request or premium payment so that is how i can capture those data from those application also so that is why uh, the uh, data coming from multiple application can also be stored in a data warehouse so availability of the data uh, earlier the data was real time the moment you upload the data or the data is stored in the database is available but here the data is available only if you sync the data with the source system or maybe when you run the job so etl job when you run the job the data is moved from source to target system then you have the data which is available so each time you want the latest latest uh, records or latest data you have to run the job or run the pipeline so basically uh, there are multiple etl tools which help to do this extract transform and load operations so here uh, usage works on data modeling techniques so if you want a, a, a special video for data modeling please comment data modeling techniques so i will make a video for what all data modeling techniques we use in uh, designing a data warehouse so here technique is earlier it was only storage but here it is to analyze the data okay to analyze the data we are storing the data in a data warehouse storage of the data it is the current data and historical data that's why I was saying we can store data of 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So that's why we have historical data. That is why data warehouse becomes very important for any business to operate and grow their business. And here query type is little complex compared because you have dimension tables, fact tables, and then you no know, multiple operations. The fact tables is loaded because of multiple dimension 
dimension tables so there can be star schema snowflake schema all these because of these schemas you know uh, the uh, dimension tables and fact tables are created and with that the uh, the complexity of queries becomes little tough or little complex here the data is a summarized data if you see the fact tables we have summarized data uh, in database i don't want uh, to uh, find out uh, say for the monthly how much is the sales but in data warehouse you can find out what is the monthly sales what is yearly sales because we have historical data so we can see lot of data and lot of uh, summarized data that will help my business to grow so now i will uh, draw some diagrams and try to explain you what is oltp and what is olap and where it comes in a business so if you take an example so here you have the ui user interface from here the data is coming to a, a database so this becomes what oltp system okay this is just from the user interface the data is coming it can be a billing system where the bills are made and uh, the data is stored so this is a oltp system or it can be a, a website where the data is being fed by the customer and the data is coming to a database so this becomes a basically a oltp system but whereas oltp system becomes so this this database becomes a source for the data warehouse then the data goes into uh maybe staging layer and so goes into target so this is a database from here we can use bi tool any of the bi tool to get the reports and this becomes ol ap system online analysis processing system so here the purpose is analyze and there is to just a transaction and just to store the data okay i hope this helps you understand what is oltp and what is olap so this is how i conclude the video where what is the difference between oltp and olap so uh, please understand and please um, write all the notes that i have made uh, in the presentation please make notes of it and understand what is oltp and what is olap this is a sure shot question in, in any interview please make sure you are thorough with this understanding what is oltp and what is olap and olap is basically the data warehouse and this is where your role of data warehouse testing and etl testing comes in okay etl testing even bi testing comes in so uh, i hope uh, you have understood uh, about what is oltp and what is olap so if you have any doubts please comment and uh, if i am able to answer in uh, text that i'll try to answer if not then i'll try to make a video and answer your questions i hope you like this technical uh, knowledge that i have shared so if you want more technical knowledge then please comment techni technology uh, i'll try to make more videos and if you have not followed me on linkedin please follow me on linkedin because i upload a lot of articles multiple related information with regards to testing and life lessons so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon i upload videos every thursday at 7 pm and if you want some motivation and inspiring stories and want to learn more about life uh, the other channel which is krishna kayaking uh, see you uh, in the next video thank you and bye bye